Good morning, everyone. Whoops, <laughs> I forgot to put myself back in the in the stream. Good morning. Um, for those that are new, my name is Julie, and this is Date Your Vintage Company. Whoops. Turn my phone down. Um, and this is my Thursday morning um, live crafting show. I guess it's a show called Vintage Craft and Chat. Um, I go live every Thursday morning. Um, I typically will do a tutorial on a vintage inspired craft. Sometimes I'll do hauls. Sometimes I'll share um, things that I bought from friends in the YouTube community or online, crafting supplies, all kinds of stuff. Anything that I sort of love and I think that you would be inspired by. So, okay, let's see here. Now, I put a new thing on today and it'll be interesting um, if everybody lets me know because I've been having some um past thursdays and some of our sales we've been having an issue with um uh people like kind of yucky stuff in the in the comments and whatnot so i instituted a thing and i've had a lot of um people in the community suggested so let let me know and that's that you need to be subscribed to my channel in order to uh comment and to chat in the chat and so hopefully that will kind of cut down on um the bots and you know kind of kind of stuff going on so let me know i love feedback let me know if you think it's good if it's not good but um i had a few people suggest it so let's we'll see how that is but i want to say good morning good morning margaret how are you good morning and we have amy's let's see amy's kitsch and kawaii kawaii is that do you say kawaii or kawaii um my husband and i we used to go to um Hawaii a lot before <laughs> before kids that was before kids and um so I think they're they always say Kauai um but good morning I'm glad you're here and Diane is here good morning Diane good you think it's a great idea yeah I'm hoping I'm hoping that it'll help I'm hoping it'll help good I, I like that um positive feedback thank you and we have Brenda. Good morning, Brenda. You're never late. You're never late. Well, we'll wait for a few more people to come in. But what I wanted to share really quick, and, and those that have been with me for a while probably remember this tutorial, but it is St. Patrick's Day today. Um, so I wanted to um, uh, share. This is a tutorial. If you go back in my videos. Oh, when did I do this, friends? I think, I don't know, maybe maybe three weeks ago or something, but this was um, kind of my one and only St. Patrick's Day uh, craft that I did, but the tutorial is up. And and again, I crafted live, but you can go back and um, watch that and make one of these sweet little. In fact, I think this is, I'm actually going to send this one to um, Cindy at Mimi's Treasure Cottage. Um, she had me on as a guest yesterday and she loves, um, all things St. Patrick's Day. So I told her I was going to send her that in the mail, friend mail. Good morning, Jennifer. Hello. Hello. Yes, St. Patrick's Day. I, I very quickly did kind of redid my backdrop um, yesterday um, just, just for Cindy's um, show. And I, I don't know. I just threw it up really quick. So I have a little bit. It's hard to see. But I have, because I have this uh, camera thing going on here, but I have a little bit of St. Patrick's Day going on. And then anybody that follows me after the show, this is so fun. So I bought this little planter from Joni at Vintageress. And I don't know, I, I opened it the other day and it just, all of a sudden, I had to make an assemblage. <laughs> but then I don't know, it just... I was in the middle of doing a bunch of different things and I just sort of dropped everything and did this fun little assemblage. Now it's just temporary. I just stuck um, a piece of um, foam in there, like florus foam and reindeer moss and some paper elements. I think this is from um, one of those Tim Holtz packages. And these are some of those little mushrooms that I love crafting with. 
And that's um, one of the little coins that I used in the backdrop of the ornament that I just showed. A little Dollar Tree shamrock, and I think it's so cute. But, I mean, he's super cute. I think he would be great for, you know, Christmas or whatever. So it's just a little temporary assemblage, but I had a lot of fun with that. And thank you, Joni. Joni, Joni usually watches the replay, so thank you. And I have some little things to open for her later. Let's see, who else do we have? Oh, <laughs> Jennifer, yeah. I don't know. I feel like I'm not having a super, like, a lot of time to craft. I've just been really busy. And as you guys notice, I'm super stuffed up. I hope I'm not going to be blowing my nose a lot. If I do, I'll mute, and I apologize. But I have been sneezing for like three days sinus stuff going on runny nose I, almost this morning I was like I don't know if I'm going to make it which is why I have um but I don't know I love being with all of you girls or you know not girls guys people <laughs> friends not just girls here um and that, that's why I have this um I don't know when I get a cold or something I always want to wear I have flip-flops on and a scarf <laughs> Because I live in Southern California and I have the slider open, but I don't know. Something about having having um, a cold makes me want to wear a scarf. So I'm glad you're here, Carrie. And Gabby's here. Hello. Hello, Gabby. I'm so glad you guys are here. Yay. Okay. All right. So let's see. I'm going to flip the camera around and kind of move my chair. And then let's get... Let's jump in. Let, oh, actually, wait. Before I do that, I think it's better when the camera's like this. So let me show you. So this is today's craft. And as you can see, it's tiny. It's a little miniature. I probably should have put that on the thumbnail. So I would use this as a little um, treat container. Um, I'll show you at the end. You can put some of those cute little um, vintage wooden uh, eggs or those little fluffy chicks, you know, kind of anything that you can imagine. But this is what we are making today. It would be sweet with a little, you could probably even fit like a gift card in here or a little bit of candy it would be great to um, make and gift to a neighbor or a little person in your family. So this is today's craft. And I'm going to turn us around. Let's see here move my chair oh I do sound very stuffy don't I okay so here's our here's our little craft in fact let's see maybe I'll stick that right there oh good morning Helen it's good to lurk I lurk all the time just glad you're here and listening and we have let's see we have Amy's here Oh, when it that, that would be so cute. I used to do when the kids were little, I used to make like a, a little Easter tree. I have like, um, I don't know, like this like tree branch thing um, that I have. And I used to decorate the tree and I haven't done it in the last couple, couple years. But yeah, I should probably, I should dig out all that stuff. So it would, it would, it would make an adorable um, Easter tree. And I know a lot of people do do that. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to mute for a second and blow my nose. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. It's going to be like, you could probably have a drinking game. <laughs> so often I'm going to have to blow my nose and um, mute today. Okay, uh, hopefully everybody can see well. Uh, oh, good morning. Welcome, Chrissy. I'm so glad you're here. You're going to love it. It's a great, great um, room of friends and welcome. We're so glad you're here. Oh, and Jerry's here. Good morning, Jerry. I'm glad you're here. Jerry has a great crafting channel, a happy hoarder. If you guys aren't subscribed, go subscribe to her. She does a lot of really great crafts. I've, I've watched a few of your lives, and I need to probably go back and watch some more of your, um, your recorded things. And I know you do a lot of really fabulous things with um, 
uh, dolls and things. Yes. Okay. All right. So what we are using for the base of our little um, Easter basket are these seed pots. So they're kind of like uh, made of paper mache. And I actually got these at the Dollar Tree. I went to the Dollar Tree yesterday to see if they had any more in stock and they did not. But I think you could easily find these at you know, Home Depot or Lowe's or Walmart, especially because all the, right, all the spring uh, seed packets and planting things are out and soil, but they didn't have them at my Dollar Tree yesterday, but they likely may have them at yours. I bought these, um, actually, I think last year, I bought them maybe even before Christmas. I just, I just picked them up because I knew I wanted to do something with them. And I think they came in, oh, there was so many, maybe like a pack of like six or eight or something. It was a big pack. Now, I would think you could probably find even larger ones is my guess. I probably should have done a little research on that before, but I'm wondering like Amazon, um, they certainly probably make them larger. And this was so funny, but I, let's see, let me see if I can grab, well, I can't grab the other one, but um, it's so funny how you get things in your kind of mind of things you want to do. And I thrifted like a month ago, I got this amazing bag of Easter stuff at Savers and there were two of these in there. Now this one is, says France at the bottom. Um, and yeah, if you can kind of see, and I don't know if the person painted it, but I definitely wanted mine to be a lighter color, but, um, I thought this was very, uh, I don't know, apropos that I found these. Um, so that kind of gave me a little bit more inspiration, but I did know when I picked up the seed pots that I was going to do something like this with them. Um, oh, Amy, that would be so cute. You are right. Vintage berry baskets made of paper pulp. That would be fun to, oh my gosh. Yes, you were right. Yep. Yes, and I may do, that was kind of one, an idea I had, depending on how I kind of go through the Easter crafts. I have seen, in fact, where was I? Kate and I um, were at the Long Beach Flea Market, and uh, one of the vendors there had a lot of, like, vintage Easter set up, and they had made little baskets with the... Um, paper egg cartons. They were so cute. So it's a little similar to this, but depending on how I kind of move through the crafts um, during the Easter season, I may do those as well. And I probably would do like a little assemblage or something in it just to, just to change it up a little bit, but oh, what a good idea. What a good idea. So I tried a couple different things. I originally took some watered down acrylic paint because I was, I thought, oh, I'm just going to do a wash on it. But um, I didn't, I didn't like, I didn't like the way it looked. I didn't really try the acrylic as it was, but I liked kind of similar to these where it kind of has that matte, you know, matte texture. I didn't want anything that was sort of shiny. And so what I found was um, chalk paint. And this is, I've showed this before, I've used this because I have it, I'm trying to use it up. And this is by the DIY uh, chalk, uh, chalk Paint brand. And this particular color is White Swan. So I found, I found that this kind of gave me the look that I wanted the most. And you could, you could play around, you could, um, you could try acrylic paint and see what it does. But I kind of liked that. And I'll just kind of show you. I already have one here painted, but um, it's so easy. In fact, I think, yeah, I think I just did one coat. And then maybe I went back in the spots um, that needed a little bit more coverage. And what's also great is you can kind of go in here and stipple. And that will get that will get in all the little nooks and crannies. And the other thing with the, when I watered down the acrylic paint, um, I didn't need to do that, I guess. I should have tested acrylic paint too, but I love the way the chalk paint looks. So I just kind of went with it. Um, but anyway, you can see how quickly that goes on. And, and I just painted the inside too. 
Okay, so we'll set that side. That's so easy. And I like to the chalk paint dries very quickly. We'll put that away. Oh, is that something that you're doing, Jerry? Open collaboration on tiny treasures in May. Yes, yes, yes. Let me let me know some more information about that. Um, let's see. What did Amy say? You could also seal the surface before painting if the sur surface is absorbing the paint too quickly. I could. I could have put like a, oh, I don't know, like a Mod Podgy thing. And, you know, this is kind of a fun craft. You can kind of, I, I typically try to use a lot of the supplies I have on hand. Um, and kind of make it work that way but yeah that this would definitely be a great craft where you can get sort of the you know um experiment and kind of get that that look you want so here is one that's all painted and another thing you can do i didn't because the grass i put in mine it's not coming through the bottom but if you had i don't know say if you wanted to fill it full of candy or something like that you can even go another step and just cut out a little piece of um, cardstock like decorative cardstock and put that on the bottom just so you didn't have the hole but I knew mine it, it wasn't going to affect the integrity of mine okay so here we have we have our little basket and the image that I'm using for mine now I looked on Flickr um, Flickr has some really great uh, vintage, like, you know, postcards and card images, but I just, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't find kind of what I was looking for. So I actually ended up going on to, um, uh, what, what is the name of it? Uh, oh, what is it? Graphics Fairy. Sorry. I just like find my words. So I went on to Graphics Fairy and found this image and it needed to be super, super small for this. So I actually ended, I saved it on my computer and I ended up printing it in not the wallet size, but whatever the, the smaller size is. I can't think of what the name of it, but um, it's sort of that smaller uh, picture size when you're printing, printing something that's a JPEG. And it was a little bit smaller than what I wanted. So what I did was I backed it with um, some vintage book pages, which I love to use because they're nice and thin and they glue really well. Okay, so I just, I just kind of did a really quick cut there. And what I did was I came in and rounded the edges with our little cutter here. We're just going to go before we glue it on our book page. Oh, I love these little cutters. They're nice because you can, um, I could do it with my scissors too, but these work out really great. And this, this cutter is nice. I don't think I licked it in the supplies, but I have it on some of my, I should have linked it in. I'll go back and put it, but I like, because it has the 10 millimeter, four millimeter and seven millimeter. And I just use the smallest four millimeter since we're working with, with um, su such a small piece. Now, this is a little trial and error because I like when you guys learn from, <laughs> from my trials and my errors. Um, originally, what I did is I uh, found a piece of cardstock that I liked. I like this kind of green coloration, but it was way too thick. I did the, um, I didn't want to use hot glue because I thought it would raise it up too much. And sometimes, I don't know, hot glue with paper, sometimes it pops off, especially because this is so thick. Um, so I did my sort of trusted Fabri-Tac, but it was still too thick and it didn't want to adhere well um, because, right, it's flat and you're trying to glue something around a surface. Now, if I had a lot of time and patience, I probably could have sat there and held it. But who wants to do that, right? Who wants to do that? I, um, let's see, what does Sherry say? We were talking about it tonight on my live at 6.30. Oh, good. 
Oh, good. Okay. Awesome, Jerry. Awesome. Now, Jennifer, I got this on Walmart and it was very inexpensive. I had looked like at Joann's and Michael's had wanted one for a while, but I don't know. They were either not on sale or I don't know. I was always like, do I really need that <laughs> for whatever the price point was? And I feel like I paid like $6 or something. So I'll go back and um, find the link. I think I'm trying to think of what craft I use this for. I don't know. Maybe I haven't linked it, but I'll after the after today is over. In fact, I'm going to write myself a little note about that. Let me get my paper here. I will um, put a link to it. And I, I yeah, I want to say it was like six dollars or was something very economical that it made it made sense. So let me see. Link to corner punch, and I'll put that back in. Okay. Okay, good. And let me blow my nose really quick. Yeah, I don't know if that's normal that they have the multiple um, the multiple sizes. I don't know. But it was, um, oh, you know what? I bought it in preparation of doing when I had, when Debbie was on my channel. Um, I had bought it in preparation of that because I thought maybe I would need it. Um for what we were doing with the junk journaling. So just to give a little bit more interest. Good morning, Amy. Welcome. Um, today we're making this little kind of mini um, Easter basket out of a seed pot. Super easy. Out of one of these, like I got these at the um, Dollar Tree. So these inexpensive seed pots is our little project today. So I'm going to go in and ink up and i'm using today for this i'm using a uh, vintage photo is the color i have and this is actually kind of the only brown tone that i do own and i just find i don't know it just it's a good it's a good neutral kind of works for everything i know there's another one out there that a lot of people like that i think is like tea stain tea dye or tea stain one of those um but I think this just gives it kind of a kind of a distressed look. So here's the if you can kind of see there it is inked up, and then here here's the original. So you can kind of see how that gives it more of a more of an age look. I like that. Oh, did you, Diane? Punches on sale every other week. Yeah, I went to Hobby Lobby. Uh, yesterday I went to Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, and um, Walmart. <laughs> They're all kind of right in the same area. So I hit up all of them. But um, I didn't walk down the uh, punch aisle when I was at Hobby Lobby. But yeah, I bet they, um, I don't get over there super often. But yeah, they seem to, they seem to always have, right? Always have sales on things. Okay, so now we're going to go in. And I'm going to use my glue stick and I'm just going to glue this onto a piece of vintage book page. I just, I just tore this out of the book and I find that um, these glue sticks work the best when we're gluing paper to paper. And I'll just kind of pick a spot here. And it's that simple. And again, this book page works really well because it's so, it's so thin. So I'm going to go in and I'm just going to cut sort of a border that's fairly even. You don't have to be super, super, super careful, but, and you could think of, you know, you could do sheet music would look so cute. Um... You know, I love using my dictionary pages. Cut a little bit off of that. And let me look at the size. Maybe I'll go a little bit smaller. But again, I found that um, if you have like, um, not cardstock, right? I found cardstock was too thick for this application. But if you had just thin craft paper, it would be so cute with a design. Kind of sky's the limit. Let's cut this a little bit more here. Even that up. Get this out of the way. Try to keep my surface clean. I'm not very good at keeping my, <laughs> my 
my surface clean. I'm like a, a messy. So I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to use that same size, the smallest, which is the four millimeter. And I'm going to go in and round the corners of what is now our little tag. And how cute are these? These would be, wouldn't this be like just a simple, you know, kind of like what I did with my, my trial and error, but you could make cute little um, tags. I just went ahead because it had glue on the back. So I just glued it to this book page thinking I'll do, I don't know, I'll do something with it. Might as well save it. Now, the one thing that I did buy, well, I bought a couple things at Hobby Lobby. They had um, all their Tim Holtz and, and like all the Distress inks, Ranger inks were, I think, 50% off yesterday. So I picked up, I picked up a pink and I picked up, let's see, this is Spun Sugar. I picked this color up yesterday because I didn't have anything. I knew I'd probably be using it quite a bit um, with Easter and Spring crafting and then this uh tumble glass yeah okay so and i love where did my little where did my little thing go oh this i love using now i don't have any of like the official applicators and i love using these um especially because I, I work in smalls quite a bit but i like these little cheapy um applicators eyeshadow applicators but i don't i didn't have any more so <laughs> i just kind of improvised i wish i had known i would have picked some up at um at dollar tree yesterday when i went in get a piece of paper so i just impro impro imp impro God, i can't even where's your word julie improvised and i just used a um one of these cotton swabs it didn't work very well but but you just kind of make it work. I thought, you know, I always like to put blue. I'm a big blue person. You see turquoise popping up in a lot of the things I make. Yeah, this is not like, probably can just even use my finger probably would work better. But just kind of came in and, and um, gave it a little blue background here to the book pages. Let's give it a little bit more. A little bit more interest. And there we go. So we've kind of inked it up there with a little bit of that blue. Oh, that would be good. My, um, I think we have some in the cabinet. My uh, uh, daughter is a, um, she's in college, but she's an artist. So we do, oh, I should try that. We do have a lot of that um, kind of art supplies around the house. And, um, oh, thank you, Amy. Thank you, thank you. So sweet. And, okay, so here is our image. And what I didn't do on this basket, um, but I'm going to do it on this one, is I thought it would look really cute if I used some of this uh, Distress ink. So some of this brown. I guess I could do the blue, too. But I want to go in, and even though, you know, I'm, I'm going to glue some trims and whatnot, I was thinking this morning that probably would give it kind of a cool look. So I'm going to go in and I don't know, hopefully it doesn't, hopefully I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. But we'll go in here and let's darken up the bottom. I was thinking it might give it a cool look. I guess I could kind of do the whole thing. Let's see as we go. We'll take a polling on what we think, what we think that's doing. Oh, I kind of like it. Okay, I'm definitely. I think I'm gonna continue with it. I think that. I think that's gonna add to the look. I was feeling so bad yesterday. I was almost. Oh my gosh! I felt like I was in slow motion. I felt like everything was taking forever. I got the thumbnail up for the video so late. <laughs> I don't even know what time it was. Um. I just, yeah, this, whatever this spring cold, I don't know, whatever is going on with me really has me knocked out. Oh, I like this. I kind of, ooh, I really like this because it's, it's sort of sticking in the um, raised portion. So it's just giving it a different look. I thought it should have thought to do this last night, but... Okay, so let me get a little bit, 
maybe more here in the inside. Of course, we're going to put grass, but it's so great. You can fill with candies or little gift cards, you name it. Kind of sky's the limit. Okay. Ooh, I like that. Okay. I think that was a good, I think that was a good. So here's the, let's see if it's going to show up. So here's the one where I've kind of inked it and kind of aged it a little bit. And then here, it's just two very different looks. Here it is just very white, but I'm liking, I'm liking that. Okay. So let's glue our image on. I'm going to kind of look to see where kind of where things are on my pot. we got a little bit here that's kind of sunken down. So I know I won't want to put the, um, the chenille stem. I know I won't want it to go in that section. So let's, let's glue our image on this side. And I'm just going to use Fabri-Tac. It's like really become my, my new favorite um, glue, my go-to glue. Let's see here. Let's see, you can use an empty thread spool and attach a round of thick felt as a homemade dauber. What a great idea. <gasps> Such a great idea. Yes, so this um, seed pot, I got these at the Dollar Tree and it was, I don't know, a pack of like six or eight, but I, I know you can find these in any garden center. Home Depot, Lowe's. Um, I should have looked in Walmart when I was there yesterday, but I didn't. Okay, so I'm just going to go in and put some of this fabric tack on the back. And this works really great. It's not just for fabric, that's for sure. Okay, we're just going to press it down. And what is so nice is that um, because this uh, paper is um, nice and thin, it really adheres. Now watch, watch it not adhere well because I have the, <laughs> because I have the ink on. Let's see here. It'll have a little bit of drying time, but I think we're pretty good here. And if you're doing this at home, I would, you know, I would let this probably dry a little bit before I went in and put the trim. But we're we're just going to, we are going to hop into it. So this is one of my favorite trims. I've used this for so many projects. And this came from, this was part of the Wonder Shop uh, a line at Christmas at Target. And I don't know if it came in other colorways, but, and I have like several spools. I was like, I, every time I went in, I would, I would buy more. Um, but I just really love this. Um, it's so thin. It has a little bit of a um, wire, but like a really thin wire. So I'm just going to cut off a little bit of this. I don't want to use my, I'm trying to keep my cutter bees nice. Okay. Oh, junk journal videos. I've <laughs> I've started getting into that, right? Because Debbie, Debbie, um, our vagabond, um, or my now she's my vagabond style. Um, so yeah, she she'll send me links, and oh my gosh, I've gotten really, really, really into. And I think there's a lot of crossover, right? I do use, I do a lot of paper crafting. I use a lot of paper um, in my crafting. So I think, I think it's great. There's so many applications um, that you can really, that you can really cross over. Oh, that's right. You're still gone. You're on vacation. Enjoy your day, Gabby. Love you. Yep. Have fun. Say hello to Ben and I will see you. I will see you on Sunday. I will see you on Sunday. I'm so excited. Enjoy the rest of your day, my friend. So a bunch of us. Um, so I live in Southern California. 
for anybody um, that's new here in the chat. And we have a pretty large group of local um, friends and YouTube friends and, um, uh, you know, uh, another girlfriend of mine, Rosina, she's in here often. And yeah, we are, I mean, I don't even know how many of us are going now, but it just kind of keeps growing. But we are meeting at the Long Beach Flea Market on Sunday. I'm very excited. Very excited. Kate and I went um, last month. And um, so I'm excited to go back and see what we find. Okay, so I'm just gluing, I'm just gluing this kind of tinselly trim here on the top. And again, this Fabitac works perfect for it. I go in, I got a little bit too much. I'm going to snip that off and glue down the end. And you could use, oh my gosh, you could use Rick Rack would be sweet, like vintage Rick Rack or lace. I mean, you can kind of take this in any direction you want. I like, I like a bit of sparkle. I like a bit of turquoise. I like a bit of sparkle. So I thought this would look really cute. And you could even take like, oh, they're so inexpensive, like a silver, um, uh, like pipe cleaner would work perfectly. I should have grabbed one out and had it. But you can kind of see, let's see if we can get the camera to kind of focus in here. There we go. How cute is that? How cute is that? You could put, oh my gosh, I don't know. You could just go crazy. <laughs> you could go crazy with the different... Um, the different options. Okay, so we have that there, and I'm loving, I'm loving the way this um, distress ink looks on here. Okay, so the second trim, where did that trim go? Uh oh. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this is the second trim, and again, this is something I wish I had picked more of it up. I actually bought this at Halloween. Um, if they have it next year, I'm going to buy more. This was the place and time, and it was, funny enough, Halloween ribbon at Joann's. And I love this stuff. I think it's it's kind of like that little, um, well, I don't know what that's called, like little um, ding, <laughs> dangling ball trim. What do we call that? And I'm going to snip off a little here. But again, you could just, the options are, the options are endless. Let me see, I'm going to go here in the back and kind of get a starting point. There we go. Okay. And I, what I do is I usually wrap it around and then I'll stick my, my thumb here so that that kind of end stays in place and then I'll go in here and kind of glue it and I'm mostly putting it at the back of the ball but you can put a little on the on the straight sections too and again Fabri-Tac is really great for this application and you can see how quickly these come together and you could just um you can just make a whole bunch at the same time. You can paint up, paint up your um, your seed. Um, seed pots. And you could do you could do other colors too. How cute it would be in pastels, pinks and greens and turquoise would be adorable. And um, I'll type it in here in a minute. I also um, have started, well, it's been a while, but I also use um, the hashtag vintage craft and chat. And I always post like the thumbnails on there, but I'm always encouraging people. Um, we've had a few um, friends that have posted their uh, crafts, you know, they've watched my videos and been inspired and have done their own kind of inspired crafts. And I'll type that in here in just a minute. Get that glued down. Okay, so we have that glued. 
And let me type that. Oh, I know, isn't that trim? I wish I had bought more of it. It's so good. Let me type the hashtag in. Um, yes, yeah, so if anybody is watching this and feels inspired, um, take a picture of your craft and post it on Instagram using this. Um, I, hopefully I typed it correctly and using that hashtag. And um, I have, I'll look today when, when I'm done with this, um, um, when I'm done doing this, I'll look to see if anybody's posted anything. Cause I love, I love, love, love to share um, what other people are making and doing and, how they get inspired from things that I'm showing and tutorials that um, that I'm putting up on YouTube. Yeah, okay. It came through. Okay, so let's see. What's the next thing? Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to punch holes for the hanger. And I love this tool. I was, in fact, I was um, saying to my friend Deb Debbie, I was like, she used a... Um, one of these ice picks <laughs> in uh, one of her recent videos. And I'm like, it is my favorite, 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 favorite um, tool to use. So I'm just, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm looking where my image is and I'm kind of figuring out where, um, kind of where center is. And again, I'm not being precise. I could probably go in here and with a pen or something, but. This work seemed to work pretty good. And then I'm going to kind of find center on the other side. And I went, I don't know, like a quarter quarter of an inch down. And it depends on what kind of trim you're using. If you have a trim that's thicker, um, you know, you could go down further or you could um, even like kind of punch a hole in that, in that trim. Okay, so we're about, we're about here. Whoops. And our trusty, trusty ice pick. And it's as easy as that. And then we're going to take our chenille stem. And this is just, you know, an inexpensive one that came from the Dollar Tree in those packs. And I found it best. I went in from the inside. You could go the outside too, but I found it worked really well. Um, to go from the inside. I'll show you why. Okay. And there's no like, there's no right or wrong, but just kind of figure out about where, about as tall as you want it. And then I'm gonna come in here and maybe uh, leave about an inch. I'm gonna trim and leave about an inch. So we can go back and wrap that, wrap that around. Oh, how cute would that be? Yep. Oh, so many applications. Okay, so here we are where we've, we've um, cut our ends. And then what I did was I just bent it. You can kind of see I bent it. And then I'm just going to come in here and wrap around. I'm just going to wrap, 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 wrap wrap that around and if you want you can get like you know something kind of hard and really kind of shove that in there so that's our that's our side there can kind of straighten that out but it, it kind of high it, it's hidden in there once you wrap it you don't really see it that much and we're going to come in here we're going to wrap our other side Oh, I love that idea, Amy, to use these as little place cards. Like, oh, wouldn't it be cute? Okay, so if you had the little place settings and then you could come in here and put like a little, um, like their name, you could make like a little tag to hang off of one, either, you know, the same size as a ribbon, but you could put their names on it. Oh, how cute would that be? Okay, so here we have our basket is coming along. Okay, so the really the last thing that we're going to do is put a bit a bit of lace. So I um, grabbed some I love this um, 
vintage like bias tape. Um, this is a little bent. I'm thinking I can go in here and maybe dampen it a little bit because as you can see, it's kind of, it's been um, probably on its cardboard for, I don't know, since the 60s or something like that. But that's all I did. I used some of this um, vintage bias tape. So I just picked some colors that I thought worked really well. So I have a little bit of turquoise and a little bit of pink. Yeah, let's take a little bit of a strand of this and kind of eyeball how much we're going to need. Where are my scissors? And I thought it was a little bit too thick um, as it was. So I came in and um, cut it down. So I think I cut it in half. And then maybe cut it again, but that's what I'm going to do for this one. Because we're working in such a small piece, we don't need like big, big rib ribbon. So we're going to cut that down. And I think I already have a piece of, yeah, I already have a piece of turquoise cut. So we're going to layer that on. And then I thought it would be um, fun just to put a little bit of tool. Now, tool doesn't really rip. I guess because it has all this bias kind of cut to it. So I'm going to cut a couple strips here. Again, you can just kind of play around with, whoops, I cut that whole thing off there. It's a little hard to see. It's blending in with my pad here. Okay, I guess I've lost my, my eyesight has gone along with having a cold or spring cold, whatever this is. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of make a little stack here and try to make them about as even. I always find bows are like the hardest, the hardest thing to do. And you know what I'm going to add in here? I love this. This is like, um... This, this came from a piece of um, something that a friend had given me. And, um, and I almost think that it may have started life as a blouse. <laughs> so next time I go to the thrift store, I'm going to look for, right? Because it has this um, seam here. So I'm going to see if I can tie a little bit of this on. I've just, I've been using this a lot in a lot of my projects. I like how drapey it is. It almost does feel like silk, but if it's, if it's not silk, it's um, maybe some kind of polyester, but I think that'll look cute. Okay. So we just have our little, our little pile here and I'm going to try to tie these on as best I can. This is probably the part that took the longest of this project is the the bow and I didn't even tie a double knot I just did a single knot and I'll kind of show you why I didn't want to have like a lot of bulk let's hopefully keep our fingers crossed that it that it works out okay here kind of pull that down oh thank you Chrissy thank you Hi, Debbie. Debbie's here. You having a good day? I um, I was just saying how much um, we both love our ice picks. <laughs> I just use the ice picks to make my ice pick to make a hole for the the chenille. Okay, so this you can judge and judge and judge over and over again to kind of get it how you want it to be. But what I found in the end, I just like, I kept like, oh, I'm trying to straighten and I'm trying to do all this. And what, oops, let me, let me see if my, of course, my hot glue, we'll wait a minute for the hot glue. But I found um, in the end, I just came back and I put, well, I'll show you. I just put a little bit of hot glue here and just kind of glued it down. So it so it hung the way that I wanted to. I'm gonna blow my blow my nose here really quick. Hi, good morning, Jenny. I'm glad you're here. No, nope, you're never late. Never late. 
I have thought about doing this a little bit later. I would be interested to know too. I always go on at um, 9 a.m. Pacific and 12 noon Eastern. I have thought about, um, <coughs> excuse me, this crazy cold I have. I have thought about maybe pu pushing it back about a half an hour. You know, here it, it is early. Um, you're early for me at nine o'clock. Um, um, but my thought is our East Coast friends that maybe they're eating lunch, you know, because the 12 noon is kind of a kind of a nice time. It takes a while for my I'm just waiting for my hot glue gun to warm up here. Real quick. Of course, when you want it, it always takes forever to warm up and I'll show you let's see while we're waiting for that to warm up I'll show you the um the flower that we're going to use and I use these very sparingly um you can see there's even some discoloration but these are um, millinery flowers and they are uh, amazing I um I picked some up at a local thrift store and I was really lucky. I won an auction on eBay with like a really nice size box of them. And you can see here, and most of all the ones I found, um, they all say made in uh, Korea. But if you uh, search millinery flowers on eBay, um, that's usually how what I type in for the search. It's not coming through, but, and these are cute. They're just like little, cute little daisies. I thought those would be sweet. I like the size of them. Let's see. Are we, my gosh, glue gun. It's taking forever. It always does that when I'm trying to, um, when I'm trying to use it. I'm glad everybody's enjoying each other's company. Oh, Mary's here. Good morning, Mary. Oh, do you think the time is good? <laughs> You're not a morning person, Jenny. Yeah, I have to be fit my son. Um, we we live kind of in a rural area uh, on the coast here. And um, the traffic is so bad trying to get him up to the high school. Um, it's probably, I don't know, 10 miles away. And it could take it could take like 45 minutes, sometimes longer, um, each way. So, uh, I found we kind of trial and error. We found out with my daughter, um, it works perfectly to ride the bus. We have a city bus here that's just for the school kids and, um, they pick them up and it's, it's all kids and they drop them off at either, both of the high schools or, um, the middle school. So he, we have to be at the bus stop at, um, well, we leave at 7, no, 6.50. We leave at 6.50 to go to the bus stop. So I always have kind of an early morning during the week. Okay, let's see. Oh, what did, what did Chrissy get? <gasps> what? Chrissy, oh my gosh, congratulations. Two full bags. <gasps> The bag I found at one of the local um, thrift stores, it was just, it was like maybe like, I don't know, three or four bunches, like the size of the daisies. What's going on with my glue gun? Here we go. Okay, we're finally going. Um, oh my gosh. That was like your lucky day. Were you just like, <gasps> were you just ecstatic when you found it? Oh, oh so lucky. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of um, hot glue here behind the ribbon just so I can get it to lay down. And again, you can kind of play around with it and see what works best for you. But I found it was just too, I don't know, it was just sticking out a little bit too much for my liking. So I found that that little bit of hot glue worked really great. And you can kind of see, so that kind of, it doesn't stick it all down, but it sticks most of it down. I see, again, ribbon is like the bane of bane of my existence. Okay, where did my flowers go? I think I, oh, here we go. I had one, I already had one cut here. So here's our little daisy. And I think I'm gonna cut even a little bit more. And these just come on wire. 
um, which is great. So they work really great to stick in foam or like for this application, you can, and they're sort of precious. I don't like to, <laughs> a lot of times I'll grab like the paper flowers at, um, you know, the ones I get in the little packets in the paper crafting area, but um, I don't know, this was, this was the best one for, for this application. And there we go. We have our little flower. So sweet. And I'm going to go in here and I'm going to cut. I'm going to shorten some of this ribbon here. And especially this tool. This tool is very long. <gasps> Can you guys hear? I don't know if it's Do you guys hear that noise? We have um, we have all kinds of squirrels in um in our yard and i hear one outside he's really chattering away there's something something he doesn't like could be we have one we have one cat that goes outside and our other two are indoor only so definitely see something it's not happy about because it's chattering away and i'm just going to go in here and kind of cut up the middle of the ribbon just to kind of give it a I don't know make it make it lay a little bit better so I'm kind of I think I'm happy with that okay so here is um our basket and then the last thing we're gonna do is come in and do a little bit of glitter because everything is better with glitter let me find my paintbrush here I keep a little um glass of water next to me which works out really great and uh, i can just uh whatever stick the paintbrush in whatever i i mean it doesn't matter if it's glue or paint or whatever it is and then i can change it out later and okay so we just have our little tiny paintbrush and i'm going to get a little bit of this um you could use mod podge you can do like a maybe a thinner like kind of watered down Glue would work well, or just probably white glue would even would even work well. Let me grab, let me grab a little piece of paper here and give my, we don't need much. Whoops, that's probably too much, but put a little dab here. And let's see, here's my paintbrush. And I think we'll go in and we will put a little bit of glitter just on the brown, brown parts around the, our little egg here. Oops, got a little bit of a hair or something there. Oh, he's really chattering up out there. He's just not happy about something. Somebody's in his territory. Okay. And a little glitter here. Tap, 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 tap. Looks great. And then on the other one, I came in and I did a little bit of um, glitter in the middle of the flower just to give it a little, little oomph. And this is just that I'm 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 still on the hunt for like the best <laughs> glitter. This was really this came in a little teeny tiny bag from Dollar Tree, I think before Christmas. And I whenever I open those bags or containers that don't have good lids um, with the Dollar Tree um, glitter, I put them in these. Um, I have a bunch of these Wagner brand. They are vintage um, spice containers. I probably have like, I don't want to get rid of any of them. I probably have like 30 of them. Um, again, I found them at the thrift store and they're perfect, especially the ones that have the little holes in the top. They work perfect for the glitter. And then I'll just go back. It's great because the little plastic part of these um, comes right off. And then I'll just, um, you know, fold the plate and stick it back in. Like perfect. And there we are. So we're actually done. And I think I really like um, the addition of the ink. Can you see it kind of gives it more of an aged, more of a vintage look. There we go. 
let me see let me turn it to the side so you can see the one that has that's inked up and let me turn to this side and the one that isn't but i really i think i really like the addition of the ink I think it really adds that um, little extra something. And you could go in, you could wrap, it would be so cute to wrap ribbon around the chenille. There's so many different colors of the chenille stems. Um, let's see, this one was interesting. This one um, that I had thrifted recently, They this one just has wire. Um, so they, it just has like a white wire and then I think this green is just that florist wire. So they went around. Um, so that would be really cute. You could do something like that if you, and I didn't try it, but I bet you could take some of this um, ink and probably come in and color the chenille stem. I think that would, I think that would be a nice experiment to see how that works so that's it and then what i did again they have so many different um different types of grass and i just happen to have i do have a lot of that kind of paper shred grass um i actually just sold i sold it to jennifer is jennifer still here like that that um that grass, Jennifer, that, that you bought at one of our sales a couple weeks ago, that kind of vintage would look so cute. Um, but I liked, I kind of grabbed this. This is like that kind of wood shed, kind of wood, wood shredded stuff, which would look so cute. So super sweet, right? And just fill, fill it with your favorite color grass. And let me get rid of this glue here, kind of clear off clear off the space and another so you could fill with treats you could fill I think it would look so cute with these um you know one of these little cute little um vintage chicks would be sweet and I am always on the lookout for this is sort of my little stash of um wooden uh these like German um wooden ornaments, Easter ornaments, and kind of so cute just to take, you know, take some of these if you're going to use them in your own decor. Like what a cute, super cute look that is. And my one, I only have one little like chenille doll that's Eastery. Isn't she cute? I should do like a little, oh, maybe she, she might, she might pop up here soon, <coughs> but she would be a really cute little um like hack to do and she just has a little oh yeah she is spun head i was going to say she was wood but she has a little spun head and yeah so maybe i don't know maybe she's calling to me um but anyway yep yeah, so you can just put your favorite little easter cuteness or some treats in there and you're all set Let's see, I'm going to turn the camera around. I'm going to blow my nose first. Let me mute. I'm sorry. Let me mute. Oh my goodness. Thank you guys for all bearing with me <laughs> with this crazy cold I have. Let me see. I'm going to turn the camera around. Um, back to me. There we go. Let me get this big boom thing <laughs> out of the way. Let's see. <gasps> that would be so cute. Oh my gosh. Easter cupcake picks would be adorable. I think I have some. I'm going to I'm going to dig mine out. I definitely think I have some Easter ones. Oh, let's see. What did Mary? Oh, did you just get, you just got a bunch of them? Ah, they're so cute. Oh, look at these. Some of these, right? There's a little, like the little chick in here. Oh, I love it. These little birds. This would be so cute in an assemblage. Let me see. My favorite. Look at this one. Oh, so cute. 
Isn't that cute? With the little wooden eggs and the little tulip in there. Oh my gosh. These are, these are adorable. Look at that little one. So sweet. Um, yes, Amy. So I'm on um, Instagram of uh, a Day Trip Vintage Company. Is my Instagram. Um, I don't know how to put an Instagram link in there. But I can show you the, I'll show you my page. It might be, it's probably in my about, in my about section of um, the YouTube here. In fact, it is. If you go to my about, I have a LinkedIn thing and it has my, um, I have an Etsy shop, but there's not much in there. <laughs> there's like five things in there um, of some vintage things. And um, my Instagram link will be in that, in that LinkedIn thing. If you go back and you can look at that. And let's see here. Let me go back into, oh, I, you know what? I'm going to go into Instagram because I did not check this morning before I came in to see if anybody has done any of these crafts and posted it to the hashtag. Let me look at that really quick here. Let's see here. And let me go into recents and yep, I don't think, no, we don't have anybody. Nobody has posted anything. Mary um, of um, Ancestral Beginnings and Kelly Rashidi, who's here often, um, they posted some crafts that they did um, back at Valentine's Day, which were so cute. So there's the hashtag vintage craft in chat. So if you feel so inspired to make a basket, definitely post a picture on Instagram and include that hashtag. And then here is um, here is me on, um, here's me. I need to change, I just did a whole new banner um, on, and I need to obviously change it here on Instagram, but there there is um, my Instagram page. So just day trip vintage co, CEO. And, um, yeah, so I think that, oh, thank you, Debbie. I don't even know how to do that. I need to figure out how to do that. Did you have, did you have a lot of those, Amy? Yeah, they're really cute. You'll have them again. Is it your favorite, Jennifer? Yeah, I think it's probably my, well, I don't know. I, I would be hard to choose. I love I love Christmas, Halloween, and Easter. Those are probably my three favorite um, times to decorate, like seasonally. I think those are my three different times. So really quick, um, sometimes, hi, Kathy, good morning. Yeah, but you know what? You can go easily go back and watch. You can easily go back and watch. So this is the... Um, this is the one that I did for the thumbnail um, that I made yesterday. Um, and that's in the thumbnail for the video. And then this morning, this is the one that I just made. So I did it a little bit differently. I went back and, and did some of the distress ink on the seed pod itself over the paint. And I, I like that. I like, excuse me, that little added change there, but, and then I just stuck, I stuck some stuff in there because why not? Thank you. Yeah, I know I was a little bit like, oh, I don't think I could do it. I, I felt better after I took a shower. I felt better. I took some Tylenol. I think that's like kind of kicked in a little bit. But really quick, I wanted to um, open up some things. And let's see. The first thing, well, the first thing if anybody uh, missed, uh, Let's see at the beginning. Let me see if I could grab it. So I had bought this little planter um, from Joni of um, Vintageress, and I opened it the other day, and I just, I don't know, I just dropped everything I was doing and just made this super quick, quick like so quick. I like had all these things kind of spread around my crafting table, and it's not permanent. I just used a little piece of foam and... Um, the kind of cool thing that I did, which worked out really well. So I put a piece of foam and then I put a piece of, um, 
I just put a bunch of this reindeer moss that I got at Dollar Tree and I grabbed some paper elements and I just used um, tape and I taped some sticks. Actually, the stick came from this um, little pick from the Dollar Tree of the shamrock. So I just cut some sticks and made little picks. I did that with the mushroom and I did it with um, these little gold kind of um, glitter coins that have a huge bag of them that I got. I think I got them in the wedding section of Hobby Lobby. And I used those in my um, St. Patrick's Day ornament. So that was that was kind of fun. So this came in the package and then at the bottom of the package. Now, Joni said these are just really funny kind of funny, silly things that she put in here to kind of fill up the box. But I want, I want to open it because it looks like it's really good stuff. But she, she said it was silly. So I have to kind of preface. I have to preface with that. So first of all, all of you know that I love, love, love Kokeshi dolls. So my mother-in-law is Japanese. She's from Okinawa, my husband's mother. And she gifted me a very, um, two, and that's on my Instagram page too, um, some Kokeshi dolls, they're old, I want to say maybe from the 50s or something, I don't know. Bye, Amy, thank you for being here, I'm glad you were here. And, um, and I've just been adding to the collection, it's been a really fun collection. Have a good day. And so, isn't this cute? Look at it. It's just a, it's a little bowl. It's just a little lacquer bowl. And Joni thought maybe it was attached to something. I don't know. Maybe it was, or maybe that's just how they turned it. But anyway, she's gonna go in. Um, she's gonna go up in my Kokeshi doll um, collection. And there were some really cute little uh, stickers that were in the top of the package. I think she puts these in as little package toppers. Isn't that cute, Debbie? And then this was so cute. I remember she said, I don't know if, um, I don't know if she got this for Valentine's Day or this box. I can't remember the story, but maybe when she goes, she'll probably watch the replay and then put it in the comments. But um, somehow, maybe she got candy or something in this box. But isn't that going to be cute? <gasps> I'm totally going to use this to do some kind of assemblage in um next valentine's day that will be a really fun box to craft with <gasps> okay i did not see this so right away this is jumping out at me this is not silly stuff joni this is good stuff she has a little let me see if i can take her out just a little bit of a oh look how cute she is just like little kind of a thin plastic Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm going to make, I don't know what I'm going to make with her, but it's going to be something good. Oh, and talking about speaking of millinery flowers, look at this great bag here of millinery flowers. We were just talking, oh, look how cool those are. They're like little beads on like a filament, like a filament pick. How cool are those? I feel like I need to, sorry, to be this way. <laughs> I need to be this way, I think, with my computer thing. So aren't those cool? And there's some, um, yep, some like greenery. All this. This is all going to go in. I have like a little drawer system where I keep all my flowers. Look how pretty those are. These are definitely... They don't have the little paper tag on, but I think these are definitely like made in Korea. And then there's some of those inside. Whoops. How beautiful are those with the sparkle? So cool. Whoops. One fell on my computer. Um, so they're the bag. Cute little kind of like fat quarter of this um, material and i would even maybe come in and cut out right cut out the stars or the hearts how cute is that super cute <clears throat> just in time for uh fourth of july and look how cute that is look how she tied it with the little ribbon 
So these are, I, I may do when we get closer to spring, I want to do a craft and try to figure out how to make little clothespin dolls. So that's on my, that's on my list to figure out and figure out how we can all make those. <clears throat> this is just a little glass gem, which would be cute. You can put, um, you know, book pages or something behind it, right? And make like a little, isn't that cute? Kind of a little, it uh, makes the print larger in this gorgeous bag of buttons. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Joni was like, these are just silly things, but they're not. They're so good. She just, she just said she stuck all this in here, but she does. Joni does the best mystery boxes. Look at that one. Oh my gosh, these are beautiful. Look at those, so beautiful. I almost was gonna go through my stash of like jewelry and buttons instead of doing that flower, but then when I grabbed the flower, I really loved the way it looked. Um, and this says damaged, damaged for crafts. No, oh, I'm gonna cut this. I can't, I hate to cut the bag, but I can't get them out. <clears throat> Here we go. Oh, what are all these? Oh my goodness, Joni. This is fabulous. This could have all made it into like a crafter's mystery box. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, look at the little mushroom. The little mushroom, guys. This is a little Made in Canada card. How cute is that? And the inside says, just a little greedy to say many thanks to you in a great big way. <laughs> so cute. Look at those little guys. And this one says, this is a Christmas card. Here's to you, a Merry Christmas. That would be a, a great background in like the back of an assemblage. Wouldn't that be with like a Christmas tree and stuff in the forefront? Uh, I know, aren't the mushrooms great? And then these are just some really great postcards. These are old. Oh, it says Valentine series on the back. That's interesting. That's interesting. Oh, I love these. So beautiful. Look at that. Where is that at? Ni oh, I was going to say Niagara Falls. Gorgeous. Thank you, Joni. I know sometimes she puts little extras in my packages. She's always inspiring my, look at the back of that is interesting. It must have come out of like a, how cool is that? See, I like this. I like the way that looks. Like that, that, that's like really appealing to me. And then these are kind of like paper postcards. They're kind of, I've never seen anything like this. They're so thin. What are these? Quebec. Montreal Import com Company. Mont Have you guys ever seen? I mean, these are like a really thin, thin paper. Oh my gosh, look at these bear. Look at the bear taxidermies. That reminds me of Ariana. I don't know if she has bear taxidermy, but I know she loves. Look at those. So cool. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Yep. Thank you for linking her. I should have asked you to do that. She is. Joni. Joni is amazing. She's such a special lady and a dear, dear friend of mine. I'm very blessed to have her as a friend. And yeah, this is so cool. I've never seen. Wait, let me, let me, what my nose here? Bear with me there. Sorry. <laughs> So terrible. The show must go on. I love you guys. So I wanted to come and I might just go. I might just go jump in the bed <laughs> when I'm done here. But these are all so great. These are all so great. I do need to get ready for tomorrow's. Um, yeah, and something was probably glued on here, but this paper is so good. Uh, right? Look at that big, that big piece of paper. So that. Joni, it was good. It wasn't silly stuff. <laughs> she just 
and it's silly. Preface is that it's silly. This one looks silly. It was good. So that was from Joni. And let me go through. Let me see. Let me put that there. And then this was something that I had bought from Pam, Pamela Blanchard. But when I opened the box, I was opening all my boxes. Um, oh, are you, Amy? Yeah, I hope you feel better, too. I should. I have a bunch. I have, like, zinc and vitamin C. So I should. I have really bad sinuses. I have, like, chronic sinusitis. But I started, like, sneezing. What is today? Thursday? Like Tuesday, I just like was sneezing all day long, sneezing all day yesterday. I haven't sneezed this morning, but I mean, I did sneeze this morning, but not not since we've been on. But I think this is what I purchased. But then this was in here. Look at all this. So I wanted to open it this morning with everybody. So these are purchased some little babies because you know how I like my babies. I think so too. It's like cold here and then it's hot like it yesterday. I shouldn't even have this on. Yesterday it was like in the 80s and then we'll just hit a day where it's just so freezing cold and I should have shown such cute packaging. I will this goes this goes in my little um, bin. Uh, I save all the ribbons and everything. Um, that people put on their packages. Everything gets saved. Right? When you're crafting, everything gets saved. Uh, so excited about these. And yeah, and these were on one of uh, Pamela's live sales. And I, somebody, we, it was kind of a bidding war. And I think the other person may have, somebody else won. And then, um, maybe change their mind or something and I was so blessed that she thought of that thought of me and messaged me and would I like them and I'm like yes you bet I would so these are aren't these adorable I don't know what it is I have like developed this real thing for these um bisque like penny dolls and the bisque cupies so it's made in Japan uh is this a little boy I don't have a little boy he's so cute I love, I love like the paint loss and, oh my gosh. Oh, that's okay. I'm just glad you're here. You can go back and, and watch the replay. I'm just opening up some boxes here really quick. Oh, this one's interesting. It's, it's, it's like a celluloid. It's like a little celluloid, baby. I don't have one like this either. <gasps> this is so cool. A little booty there. A lot of first in this package, not marked, but it's, um, yeah, if you can hear it, it's kind of a hard plastic. And look how cute she is. Oh my gosh, so stinking cute. Uh, yeah, these are going to go, these are going to go with my other babies. I'll post a picture on Instagram maybe later. Doesn't he? Yes. And they're they're like a little they're like a little bear, right? She looks a little perturbed with him. <laughs> he looks like maybe he's been naughty, and she's like, I don't know, I don't know. Why did you do that? <laughs> so cute! Oh, I'm so excited. I don't because I don't have I don't have any that look like them. And then this was this. I don't know what's in here. This is oh, this wasn't anything. I don't know if Pam just put it in here. Oh my gosh. I should have, I wish I should have opened this card maybe before I opened those, but cute little card. In fact, I'm saving that. I'm going to save this because that's perfect for junk journaling, right, Debbie? <laughs> Did you have that look on your face recently? Cute little thank you note. Oh, thank you, Pam, if you're watching this. Oh, says hi. Hi, Julie. Thank you so much for buying this lot of vintage baby dolls. XOXO Pam. And she says, P.S. I put some extras in here for crafting. Thank you, Pam. I just adore her. Did you put, let's see, maybe if you can, um, can you put Pam's link in, um, Debbie, if you're, if you're still in here? 
It's in here. How sweet. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Pam. <gasps> what? Oh my goodness. Oh, Pam. OMG. These are like the little mercury and they have like a frosting of glitter on top. Oh my goodness. Wow. These are precious. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Wait, I have to blow my nose again. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sorry guys. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Pam. Uh, and there's this beautiful, like some green trim, which is gorgeous. Look at this fabric. Oh no, it's like, yeah, no, I think it is fabric. It is kind of cut. That's beautiful. Oh my gosh. I want to use this in like some kind of Easter, Easter way. And we have a bit of purple, it's a little cotton. Oh my gosh, can you guys see? It's like a little, um, like a little tiny pillow. It's like a little heart pillow. Oh my gosh, Pam, thank you. And then here's some red lace. Yeah, definitely need to make some um, little dolls with these. I know there's like a ton of tutorials on Pinterest, so I need to, it's probably really going to be in my, my head. I have like kind of a spring, um, a spring kind of theme in mind of how, how I want to do them. So we have some more matching red. Look how beautiful this is. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? So cute. Oh my gosh, this is sparking all kinds of, I love this like taking, you know, this could have been a pillowcase or <clears throat> a sheet or something, but just how, how much, you know, how much this kind of sparks the imagination, just a little snippet like this. Isn't that beautiful? Oh. Debbie, this reminds me of Debbie just on her, Debbie, you should put your link in too. Debbie just did um, the cutest junk journal and she made it out of a like manila folder, one of those letter size manila folder. And then she covered it with like a patchwork of all different um, pieces of lace and material. So cute. And then sewed it. It was adorable. Oh, I don't have anything like this. Oh my gosh. Spotless frozen food cart in one pint. Oh, this is, I'm, I don't even know if I could craft with this. I think this needs to go like, this will probably go in like an ephemera bowl or something. How cute for 4th of July. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you, Pam. I'm, I'll message Pam. Um, when I'm off here today, but thank you. Thank you. Oh, so sweet of you to think of me. And I love the dolls and to put these sweet, sweet extras in here. I just adore you. I love you. And um, here, let me grab. And then this is something I have no idea. Thank you, everyone that has stuck around. Baron, I have no idea. This is from Christina Taylor of uh, what what is what is she thrifting up is it thrifting up north what is it i have to look up christina christina is let me look at her youtube in fact let me go in somebody's probably going to say it um quicker than i can christina is and i didn't buy some i mean i bought from christina but i haven't purchased anything recently so christina taylor is yeah thrifting up north and since i'm in here let me put her link in because i'm i'm kind of already here so let me share and put it in so i don't know what this is i yeah. go back to myself and 
come in here and paste. Maybe Debbie already did it. She's probably much quicker than me. So this is Christina, Christina's channel. So this is a complete mystery. I do not know. I don't know what's in here. But Christina has really great um, uh, weekly sales that she does. Okay, so there's Christina. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's in here. It was so funny, my husband this week, because I, I was like, well, I'm not really buying. I was kind of like, I'm not, I haven't been buying much. And then he's like, well, you sure have a lot of packages. <laughs> we're, not, we're not, like, kind of not buying much and or, or not, you know, not buying much recently. And I said, well, honey, that one right there, I don't know what's in it. <laughs> I didn't buy that. It is. It's a true, it's a true mystery box. What? What is this? This is from Joni too. It says to Julie love Joni. What? Joni? Oh. What? So it says for my special friend. Um, well, it's not my birthday. It's not my birthday yet, but this is a birthday card. And then I think then Joni's note is here. Hi, Julie. I thought this was fun for one of your collections. Love, Joni. Oh, my gosh, Joni. Yes, this is a true. Wait, let me make a little bit of room here. Oh, my gosh, Joni. Okay, I want to kind of let me take a little sip of my coffee. Oh, are you feel are you feeling inspired? Chrissy? Yeah, I had a little bit of a life change. I've always been a creative and a, and a maker and a crafter. I had a uh, sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. I had a um, handmade shop on Etsy for I don't know, 12 years, very busy, busy uh, handmade shop. And I took a little bit of a hiatus um, from that, and um, but I can't. I have to create. I'm kind of like I ha have that like desire and need to um, keep creating. So even though I'm a little bit of a hiatus, I have terrible bursitis or some bad thing going on in my shoulder. I had a hand stamp business, and I think it was like so many years of hammering things, like texturizing things, and heavy equipment and I think I've really done a neighbor uh, uh, not a neighbor <laughs> I've done um uh what's the word what's Julie what's the word uh, I've done a number not a neighbor I've done a number on my shoulder um yeah oh hi Jan no you're not late you're not late I'm so glad you're here it's probably your lunch hour or towards the end of end of your lunch hour I'm glad you're here. I didn't get to, I was telling everybody I'm so sick. I have this like terrible cold and I was trying to get my craft done last night when your sale was on. And I don't know, I got the thumbnail up. It was like, everything was slow motion. I couldn't even, it was like, everything was taking me like five times as long because I was so stuffed up and feeling so crummy. I really just wanted to, to like crawl into bed and do nothing and um so yeah I was really like I was listening I had you on in here and then when I went in the other room and I was on Canva and trying to do my thumbnail and um so I was enjoying your sale but um yes let's see okay good okay so this now we've determined this is from Joni from Christina Taylor and uh, okay when I crawl into bed later, these are good for a cold, right? Ketchup chips. These are these should help. These should help my cold. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat these later. I'm excited. Okay, so we have ketchup chips. Christina always puts all kinds of fun little like goodies. So we have some Sour Patch Kids. Ah, those are good. My son, when he gets home from school, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share these with him. He's he's my sour. He loves, loves, loves. Oh no, Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Did you? 
I don't even know. Like, I'm like, how did I even, how did this happen? It started with sneezing. I just had, I was like sneezing all day Tuesday, sneezing yesterday, and now it's just, but my nose is running. So I'm glad when you have chronic sinusitis, it's a good thing when your nose keeps running because that means hopefully it won't, it won't settle in my sinuses. Oh my gosh, look at all these goodies. We have Smarties. I'm glad you're better. So I'll just kind of mentally say, okay, maybe, maybe I'm going to have it for a couple weeks. But I don't want to be sick on Sunday. I don't want to miss Sunday at the flea market. Oh, what is this? Caramel. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to be eating that later when I'm in bed. Look at these cute little, oh, this pop came off. Cute little pencils and little pens. Christina put so much cute stuff in here. Oh, how cute is that? You can do some crafting with that. I love having little, like little notebooks, little notebooks in my purse and here on my desk. Just chug some Dayquil. Like I was so sick when we were at the, the big estate sale. <laughs> like the crazy estate sale now i'm sick again like both times i see you i have like a terrible cold and here's another little notebook so cute okay i don't know and then and then this is what this is what's in the box this is a mystery jamie this is a gift from Joni. and um oh my god okay i can see what it is what oh my gosh I remember, I remember um, I was on a sale or something, and I remember Christina, I wasn't on a sale, clearly, when this was being shown, or I likely would have purchased it myself. <laughs> I'm allergic to you. I'm not allergic to you, I promise. Oh my gosh, I do not want to be sick Sunday. That's why as soon as this is over, I do have to get ready for tomorrow's sale, but I'm going to call in bed. I'm not, I never do that, but I'm, I'm going to like literally put my jammies on and I'm going to crawl into bed for a while. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. She is so fabulous. Oh, Joni, thank you. Isn't she adorable? I do not, I do not have one. That looks like her and she's big i have one other that's big like her but not the little like pigtails that's what i kind of that's the other thing i love about kokeshi dolls is they're all different like i don't even feel like if you're at a state sale or you're thrift, like you're out in the wild they're just all completely different because they're hand painted <gasps> isn't she cute oh Yes, is that that? Yeah, Debbie, you could probably hit up Jan because Jan has lots of um, she has lots of wallpaper, I think. Uh, hi, Connie, welcome. Happy St. Patrick's Day. No, don't worry about being late. You can go back and watch the craft. And um, this was this was today's little craft. This is the one I made today. And now I'm just some opening some friend mail. And then I'm going to go get to bed <laughs> and nurse this cold. <gasps> Isn't she cute? Let's see. Do you collect Kokeshi dolls? I have one with a split in its head, and I don't know if it was made that way or not. Oh, take a picture and send it to me, Jamie, and I'll let you know. A split in its head. That's interesting. Hmm. Maybe, it, maybe it was made for some, like, other purpose or to hold something. Yeah, send me a picture. I'll take a look. Oh, she's so cute. Oh my gosh, Joni. Thank you. You don't even know how much I adore her. So sweet. Oh, yeah. Isn't she sweet? All right. Okay. I'll put her up here. Thank you, my sweet, sweet friend, Joni. I love her. I adore her. She's going to have a special place in my collection. Okay, I think that's it. I'm going to take a little um, quick um, swig of coffee. 
And um, yeah, so tomorrow, let's see, um, housekeeping stuff. Tomorrow is Vintage Coffee Talk, um, which is a, my weekly live sale that I do with Kate at Releve Vintage. And we alternate between our channels. Tomorrow, it's on my channel, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 noon Eastern. I already have the thumbnail for the video up. So after this is over, you can go and hit the reminder bell so that as soon as we come on tomorrow, you'll get the reminder notification. And I did the same thing for that video that I did for this one. And I'm trying it. We I don't think we we didn't have any bots or any weird stuff because we're having been having some weird stuff, um, especially on Thursdays, even more than Fridays. Um, where um, I didn't even tell Kate, but she won't like <laughs> to tell her first. Where um, and a lot of other friends in YouTube have I've had people suggest um, to do this so that you have to be subscribed and able to um, talk and talk in the chat. That's all it is. Um, and once you're subscribed, it's, I put the lowest, which is one minute. So once one minute has passed after you've hit the subscribe, you know, the subscribe button, um, then you can chit chat and be with friends and hang out. And, um, I think, it, I think it was good today because we didn't have anything, anybody that we had to time out and everything. So I think it's good. So tomorrow's, um, live will have that. So it's on my channel. Let's see Wednesday. Um, March 23rd, I'm doing the big craft off on Helen Booty's channel, New England Thrifter. Let me see if I can find that really quick. And I know Pamela Blanchard, Pam is going to be on that. And uh, we are doing, it's a craft off and it's Easter themed. I still have not made my craft. <laughs> but I'm still getting into bed today because I feel that crummy. Um I still have the weekend, right? So that's this coming Wednesday. I don't know what time it is, um, but maybe it, go subscribe to Helen's channel. And um, let me see if I can find her here. I'm sure I've looked her up. Yeah, here she is. Um, and let me do share and copy link and come back here and here and paste it. Whoops. And let's see, this is Helen's channel. Helen, and it's going to be a lot of fun. There's probably, I don't know, four, five, six of us that are going to be making crafts. And then we do kind of a bragging right thing at the end, I think, um, once we're all done making our things. Okay, so here's Helen's channel. Go subscribe to her, and I'm sure if she doesn't have the thumbnail up, she'll put it up soon. And what else? I think that's it. I kind of have in my head what I'm making next Thursday for my craft, but I haven't started it yet. And, yeah, I think that's it. A bunch of us local um, friends are meeting at the Long Beach Flea Market. So if anybody's watching this that's uh, local to Southern California, in Orange County, whatever. Um, yeah, send me a message or something on Instagram, but there's a bunch of us going. And hopefully we'll, you know, maybe Kate and I will go live there um, for a bit and we can chat with everybody, but I'm very excited. So it's like our first big, I think, get together that we've kind of been able to have. We've, we've gotten together like in little small groups, but I think this will be kind of the largest of our group. And some of us have like other friends coming and husbands and kids, my son's coming. And um, so I'm really excited. Oh, okay. I looked at my analytics on my channel, found that I have 50% of my viewers are non-subscribers. Yes, and I had to play around with it, Jan, but um, I'm sorry, excuse me. Um, you have to do it individually for each video. So after you set it up in StreamYard and then come back in YouTube to do the customization, it's so it is kind of a pain, I guess, because you have to go in and enable that feature um, for each each live or whatever it is you do, or I guess it's only applies to live, right? Um, but I think it's well worth it and see what happens if that kind of cuts down on, um, you know, those troublesome 
people I don't even want to talk about. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, they're talking about wallpaper. Do I ever sell at flea markets? No, I haven't sold at a flea market, but Kate at Releve Vintage, who does a vintage coffee talk with me on Fridays, we've talked about getting a booth maybe this summer. I don't, we're so busy, but both of us have a lot of things that are kind of larges, right? We don't want to ship and like even like small pieces of furniture. I brought back a lot of really great, cool things from my mom's house, like crocs and and um real kind of farmhousey stuff like milk cans my mom oh my gosh i don't even have a place to put it my mom had in fact she didn't have it up in their last house but one of those victrola things you know with the the music it's like a tube and it has like an oak i don't even know what it's called an oak case and then it has the big horn that comes out that's painted I have so much really great stuff, but you know, and it's kind of like, yeah, trying to sell that stuff on Facebook Marketplace is kind of hit or miss, right? When people like they message you and then you say, yes, it's available. <laughs> you never hear back from them. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, Kate and I, long story short, we've talked about getting a booth at a flea market or something this summer just to do you love Victrola's? Oh, I wish you would do live locally because <laughs> I have one that's probably available. I wish I don't have a place to put it in our house. I wish I did. I mean, I have I have so many of my mom's antiques that I've kind of brought into the house and the things that I can make fit and the things that I love, but oh, get on the waiting list now i've been waiting for an opening antique mall for six months at least and they all said the wait is over a year what about doing flea market we will talk about that sunday would you ever want to do like a flea do a flea market with us like a one day and kind of test it out do you have you have one for sale too jan yeah antique agenda if you live close to jan in the new york area or if you're close to me on the west coast yeah so we both we both have one i think mine is missing a couple pieces i think for the horn to attach i don't know we had a neighbor in wyoming that was looking and he said he thought it was maybe oh now you're in colorado yeah so you're not super close to any of us so what does that mean jan uh, jan yeah but it affects <coughs> Sorry. it affects static comments too i don't know what static comments are hmm so is it like a good like is that comments when the video is over that the people have to be subscribed to leave a, is a static comment the one that's after it's over <coughs> excuse me guys Oh, okay. But I think that's a good thing, right? It, or I don't know. I, th I think I think that's a good thing. I think that's a way to get more. Yeah. <coughs> oh, my goodness, guys. All right. I think I have to go. <laughs> I think I have to go before I choke. But anyway, so I hope you guys all enjoyed today's craft. And thank you all for taking time out of your day to spend it with me and um thank you pam thank you christina thank you Joni. thank you for all the wonderful friend mail and thank you debbie for helping and putting all the links in today and yes if anybody is watching in the replay and they have any questions at all about the craft i always monitor the comments so um leave the questions in the comments you can always find me on Instagram. I have my LinkedIn um, link there. And you can message me through Instagram because I'd love to hear from you. And I think that's it. Okay, everybody, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go crawl into bed. <laughs> so I hope, hope you all have a fabulous day. I love you all. And take care.